Mariahs coming at you with my final video. This is a art haul video. Art supplies haul video. Sorry, let me rephrase that. This one comes from a favorite store of mine here in Chicago. It is called the Waste Shed. The Waste Shed basically is a reusable, recycled art store where people donate their art supplies that they don't want or any kind of supplies for that matter. They even take clothing donations sometimes. Um, there's a section for teachers that teach art or something or whatever that they have free supplies for. And their prices are pretty reasonable. Um, I actually just saw a set of Derwent, an old set of Derwent pastel pencils. It was missing a couple of pieces, but they were only $30. Um, on Amazon, they're like $60 for a 36 count, I believe. So, yeah, I wanted them, but I'm like, no, it's okay. I'm going to pass them up. Um, I was able to get more stuff, though, by passing those up. So, the first thing I got was this super cute tote bag. Yes, it's a little dirty and stuff, but that's easily cleanable because it is a canvas material. It is a scrapbook companion tote that opens up like a file accordion, as you can see by the lines. And it's, it was super cute. I couldn't resist. And the handles um, have this Velcro thing that keeps them together. I paid $2 for that. Come on. It was a steal. I couldn't resist. So that's that. Now I'm going to share with you what's inside, though. So... The first thing I found was this one book. It's called the Color Pencils Solution Color Pencil Solution Book: Tips and Techniques for Winning Results by Jamie Giblo, Janie Giblo, and Barbara Benedetti Newton. This book retailed for $27.99, and they also had it on Amazon. I forgot how much it was, but look at that. I got it for three dollars okay I couldn't resist it then the next thing I got was this book now this book is a fashion source book it is the 1920s by John Peacock with 295 illustrations what I plan to do as I was looking through it um, it gives you the breakdown of all the years and stuff and if you have these um, pictures here that have no color to them. So I was thinking of turning this into a coloring book and coloring all these pages because, you know, I just thought it'd be awesome to color these in and give the book some life, you know? The pages are super detailed and the fashion is really cool, you know? And it tells you what everything is, like day wear, evening wear, sports and leisure wear, and so on and so forth. That book was only a dollar. <clears throat> the next thing I got, or that I picked out rather, was some sets of pencil, loose pencils rather. I know it's So let's open this up and pull out everything so I can show you. So the first thing I got was this um, Conte a Paris. It is an aquarelle pencil. It's in white, so I decided to give this a shot to see how this works. They're all 25 cents, the pencils, just to let you know. So then I found three of these. They remind me of Earth Tones, the colors. They are called Derwent Signature Pencils. I'm not sure, I have to do more research on them. And it was only three of them. So I got the Sap Green Patholo. I got the Payne's Gray. And I also got the Red Oxide Trans. So I picked up those three. And they were pretty much brand new. They had two of the Magic Pencils from Koai Noor. Um, I decided to give those a shot. So they had the blue one and this gold, red, and yellowish and orange colored one. So 
So I picked up those two. They were also 25 cents. And then I picked up this uh, Supra 2, Super Color 2 Soft uh, by Karen Dosh. It was also 25 cents. And then I got this paintbrush. I have one already, but I decided to buy another one. This one, though, is not the travel one like the one that I currently have. This one is just a regular one. It is an Isabi Petit Gris French. It's a round three. So I picked this up. I don't even know how much this was. Maybe a dollar, perhaps. And then in the pastel section, or in the box where the pastels are kept, the loose set, I found wrapped together these four older version of Neo Color 2's, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so this one is gonna be, mm, no color, no name, but you could tell it's a Neo Color. So you got the blue one, and then you have this green one, and then you have this green one, and this lighter green. So I picked up those four. They were each, I guess, 25 cents also. I'm not sure. They, yeah, she charged me a dollar only for those four. So that was that. So I thought that was cool. You know, I've been telling, I, I haven't really done a video haul from that store ever. So I decided to share what I had found from there tonight. And then the final thing that I found, and this one I was really happy about, now, they're not all in there, but there's a good range of colors, and it was only $7. So, I found the 36 tin of the Lyra Rembrandt Polycolor. Um, somebody put the sticker on it. I, I don't know. I think it came with that sticker. But as you can see, it says $7. It says incomplete set. But when you open it, you have this nice range of colors that are doable you can tell they haven't really been used so I'm only missing one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven colors in total so again like I said I'm okay with that so I'm missing probably the black and the white um, the red um, probably some other colors, you know, but again, I can't beat that deal. And I've got this thing up here that gives me the list of colors that came in this set, but that I'm missing. Which again, like I said, I'm not complaining about. I'm okay with that because again, I got a good deal on pretty much everything. All these supplies that I've just showed you guys, I got them for only $18. I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, not every place you're gonna, not every state has a resale shop, but mine's does. And I mean, while I'm here, living here, you know, and while I'm alive, I'm gonna take advantage of it. I can't, I can't not not take advantage of it. You know, I know the people there. You can find them. You can find them on the inst on Instagram and on Facebook called the Waste Shed. I will link their Facebook in the comment in the description box below, and I'll also link um, their Instagram in the comment box below if I can find it. If not, I'll just type in their name so that way you can search for them. If you're interested, if you ever come to Chicago and you ever want to visit them. All right, you guys, as I say all the time, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like my videos and hit the bell icon for future notifications of videos that I post. Until then, see you in my next video. Bye.